Hi, this video is the Art of Hair Transplant Restoration Surgery. This client um, is actually Cambodian, so he flew in from Southeast Asia. Uh, he flew in from Cambodia, so it's half around the world. Um, it's really an honor to have people uh, seek me out, and especially um, to harvest using the FUE method. Uh, as you know, FUE is follicular unit of extraction, harvesting one root at a time. And that leave you minimal scar and allow you to wear your hair shorter. No surgery without scar, but FUE does have scar, but tiny dots of scar and so small and so scattered that allow an individual to wear his or her hair shorter. And not just less scar, but it's less invasive, less bleeding, less chance infection. Um, so pretty much it's a lot less painful during the recovery uh, period. And there's quite a bit more benefit with the FUE, but there's the bad part of the FUE too. And the downside of the FUE is the cost. It will cost more than the strip method, number one. Number two, the number of graphs we can do is less. Those, this client going to need more than 2,500, but that's all I'm going to set. And 2,500 is the front, almost front half, maybe front third. Um, and we built the whole part of that one and increase more density to it. Uh, where the strip method will leave you a linear scar, the FUE will leave you a minimal. Here's the auto of hair transplant, especially the hairline. From the mid eyebrow to the hairline for Asian and black, it's around 6.5 to 7. For Caucasian, it's around 7.5 to 8.5. The more narrow the face, the more arched back the hairline is. And this patient's face is a little bit more round, so the hairline is a little bit flatter, somewhere in between. And then once we get the shape done, we zigzag. No hairline straight, so we zigzag. And the great thing is this client quite have a bit of his existing hair already. So we're trying to follow his natural existing hair. Uh, we don't want to change who he is. And no hairline straight, again, nice zigzag. We have two types of zigzag. We have the tight and the soft. And the, the tight hairline is the smaller zigzag. It brings more of a wow factors. But, you know, and some people don't want to draw attention to the hairline. So some people have a different personality. They want more uh, conservative type, who has a bigger zigzag. And the bigger zigzag has a s more softer hairline, which it looks more natural. Well, both of them natural, but it looks more softer and less drawing to attention. But the downside of the bigger zigzag with a softer hairline is it doesn't look as dense. Once we get that shape down and the zigzag down, we try and plan a precise angle, start 35, 45 in the front, change it when you go backward in a different direction. Not only the precise angle is important, selection of hair graph is important. We try and find rows and rows of single hair graphs in the front, followed by a route to go two hair, three hair, and four hair in the back for both volume. Today we'll be harvesting around 2,500 graphs or more using the FUE method on a client who flew in all the way to Cambodia. And this is what it is. Thank you.